In the concluding nevuah, prophecies of the last great prophet, Malachi, in verse 22, he says, Zichru teiras Mesha avdi. Remember the Torah of my servant Mesha, that which I commanded you, Bechayrev, a euphemism for Mount Sinai. And then he says, lechem es Hanavi. I'm going to send the prophet Elijah, Eliyahu Hanavi, and he will come lefnei by Yom Hashem, before the day of God, Hagadol v'Hanayra. The commentaries tell us that this is a direct reference to the coming of Mashiach. The Metzudah's David says, why is it that a verse about Eliyahu Navi coming prior or announcing Mashiach's arrival comes after a verse that speaks about the study of Torah? Says Metzudah's Ratzaleimar, Bezchus HaTayra. It's in the merit of the Torah, perhaps Torah just like this, learning about Mashiach, that brings us to the brink of Mashiach's arrival and the appearance of Eliyahu Hanavi. Eliyahu Hanavi is going to come in a terrestrial fashion. We know this because the Baal Shem Tev once said that he could have ascended heavenward, as did Eliyahu Hanavi, in a flash of light, Bemara HaChashmal. And we know today, scientifically, that anything that moves at the speed of light will have the appearance of light. In other words, the Baal Shem Tev could have departed in a, in a physical, literal, terrestrial way, as did Elio. But instead, he wanted to fulfill the notion of ki offer ata, you come from soil or earth, ve'al offer toshuv, and you return to soil and earth. The Rebbe once asked the question, if the Baal Shem Tev valued and appreciated the fulfillment of that verse, why didn't Elio Anavi? And the Rebbe explained, that's because different tzaddikim have different functions or purposes. The Baal Shem Tev's essence was connected to the notion of al offer toshuv. But Eliyahu Hanavi's essence, which is ultimately to be the harbinger of redemption, is directly linked and connected to the concept of announcing Mashiach's arrival. And because he has to come terrestrially, not just as a malach or spiritual presence like he does on the night of the Seder or when a Brit Mila, a covenant of circumcision is held, Eliyahu Hanavi therefore had to ascend heavenward in a bodily sense. And Eliyahu Hanavi will return in a bodily sense, very soon, in an hour time, to announce the coming of Mashiach and bring all of us together in an incredible wave of renewal and tshuva, b'mheira, will be amen o amen.